so I think it's about time we fix these guys down here, which are the errors that are caused simply because we are using methods that we have yet to define. So let's go ahead and go into the game asset manager and load and define the procedures for getting the textures for this guy. So the first thing we're gonna need is we're gonna need some instance variables uh, in that class, and we're gonna name it text. And the first one's gonna be for the door open, and it's gonna be the image for the door open. Then we're gonna define another one. Text door door closed. That is it. And finally, the text here for the bricks. So now what we're gonna do is we need to load the assets. So that is the next step. If you, I have personally placed the assets in here. Uh, they were created during the last issue, issue three. So if you don't have them, you can go back and redo the steps in issue three. If you do not want to go through the steps of issue three and just want to get the art, you can also find it in our Flickr account, Flickr slash Game Developers Guild. So either way, you can get the files. I advise you, however, if you're really interested in learning how to do the art, that you take a time, the time and actually go over issue three. So you can see how we did the bricks and you can see how we did the doors, and you know, open and close doors. Okay, so I assume when you already have them much like I do, I am going to bricks and again we're gonna call content dot load we gotta we gotta specify the type of item that we need to load in this case the texture 2d and again the folder in this case the phrase in art and the name is bricks again remember that you do not use the extension you just give it the name let's go ahead and do the same thing for the Open gates, once again, art, door, and this is door zero. Finally, let's go ahead and get the door closed. And again, content, load, texture, D. Again, there's many ways to do it. You can have place both door into a single file and then uh, do some logic to figure it out. In this case, we wanna keep it simple. So instead we have chosen to separate the two doors into separate files. Let's go ahead and just the same way that we did for this guys, let's create the methods for getting the images for the door and the uh, bricks. So we're gonna call it texture to D, get open, door open and all we're gonna do is we're gonna return the texture for the door open similarly we're going to create the next one texture 2d get door closed now we're going to return the value in variable finally let's get the bricks get bricks and we're going to return the value contained inside the bricks the text bricks so this way we can access the images from anywhere throughout our code and we have now gotten rid of those pesky little error messages that we had before so that each one of them can now get the images they need okay